What's up guys, selamat datang ke channel Zuru Des. Kali ni Zuru nak ajak korang main game Kill or Love So Kill or Love ni sebenarnya dia Game dia macam visual novel But dia punya genre dia ialah psychological horror uh, Psychological thriller lah, macam tu lah Aku pun tak tahu mana satu yang betul So kalau nak tahu cerita dia Kita main sekarang This is a work of fiction Names, characters, business, blah 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 Macam biasa lah kan Contains depiction of violence Strictly not for 16 and below Jack Okay, auto Jack There's a voice calling to me Wake up Jack It's a woman's voice I want to keep on sleeping But it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon I open my eyes. Oh, cantik guys. Good morning. Eh, good morning too. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yeah. I know her not just because she is my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. Hi. What? Can't talk? Is your throat too dry? Yeah, I need some water. Hang on a second. She comes back with some water in a paper cup. She helps me sit up, then put the cups to my mouth and let me drink. Mm. Good, feeling better now? Yeah, thanks. Great! Are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How is your leg? Oh, so caring, guys. Memang caring gila. Does it hurt? Are you bored? I'm... I'm alright. Well, if you say so, tell me if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yes, Jack, what is it? What's the date today, do you know? Oh, just that? It's August the 3rd. I see, thank you. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now, other patients, you know? But I'll be back in a bit, don't worry. Okay, Anna leans down and peck me on the lips. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so sekarang kita dah tahu Jack ni sebenarnya dia macam masuk hospital eh. Uh, tapi macam dia masuk hospital, itu yang kita nak tahu. Start of journal, August 3rd. I am going to kill someone. Probably. Her name is Anna, huh? What the hell? I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man. But what else can I do? It would be wrong to let her live, right? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. I tested my grip strength today. I wrap a hand around my wrist and squeeze. I couldn't make it hurt at all, not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter much. Even if I was strong enough to go through with it, I'd still have to wait. But I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Grace? It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got her involved. Please be safe, Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. It calms me down when I write your name. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm so sorry. Okay guys, apa yang jadi is ni August 4 The journal is still here, thank god I was afraid she would find it somehow When I saw that she didn't, I was It, it was such a huge relief I wanted to write it In right away, but no I didn't, I have to be patient I will write only when I'm sure Anna is not around Kenapa eh? Apa? Apa hal dengan Anna eh? Not while she's walking around Tending to patients Pretending she is not who she really is. And it's a good thing I waited. She came into the room. Only a few minutes after I woke up, she smiled and asked me how my night had been. I had back from telling her how I really felt about being here and about her. 
I mean it's not like I can hide everything not after what happened but at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do and who knows maybe she thinks I've gone back to how I was before I haven't gone back and I'd rather die than be like that again but it would be nice if she believed that She let her guard down Okay so maksudnya Anna ni dia ingatkan lelaki ni macam Macam dah hilang ingatan So lelaki ni berlakon macam dia hilang ingatan lah Well it doesn't matter that much really Even if she finds out I'm planning on killing her So what? So what? I'll end her life just the same If it comes to that I'll do it If I need to kill Anna to save Grace I will do it in a heartbeat Oh right So maksudnya Jack ni sebenarnya dia pun ialah pembunuh dulu eh. Lepas tu tak tahu kenapa dia masuk hospital ke apa and Anna ni dia culik Grace. So dia Anna ni suspect lelaki ni hilang ingatan pada sebenarnya lelaki ni tak hilang ingatan lagi and dia tak nak kembali ke ke zaman dululah macam dia bunuh-bunuh orang tu dia dah tak nak lagi. Tapi dia nak bunuh si Anna ni sebab dia culik Grace. You know what actually Grace doesn't even need to be safe. Yeah. Grace is fine somewhere far away without a care in the world and I'm worrying over nothing. Yeah. If only Grace tu hidup lagi Patutnya August 5 I haven't gained any strength back yet Ni dah dah 2 hari lah ya. Selepas 2 hari dia bangun Am I being impatient? I might be The doctor thinks That for sure that I'm being impatient I ask him for some exercises I could do But he told me to shut up and rest What are you in such a hurry for? He asked me I couldn't tell him so I didn't say anything. Betul lah takkanlah kita nak bagi tahu yang kita punya awet tu kena culik dengan nurse pula kan. My next idea was to find a weapon. I haven't seen anything good though. I'll still look out for something I could use but I haven't got my hopes up. I mean I could rip out the needle in my arm connected to the IV drip but I don't think that be a good murder weapon yet. What then? I can't think of anything. My mind is foggy from the drugs and the pain. And God damn it, why is there always so much bullshit? Damn it. Why do I always have to deal with all this? Nothing I try is going to work. August 5 again. I've calmed down. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now of all times. No emotion that comes when I'm safe. When we're safe, both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. They've set the bones in my leg straight and everything and it's healing in its cast. But it will be a long time before I'm able to walk. Alright, so maksudnya kaki dia memang teruk eh. Sampai doktor masukkan besi yang kaki dia. I think. Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. It could help me get my strength back. I will ask the doctor when I see him. Okay. It's early morning. I hear someone coming down the hall slowly, not in a hurry. They sound like they are wearing hospital slippers. Most likely, it's the doctor and nurse. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. The door opens, the doctor comes in and a step behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. I sigh in relief. Shit. <laughs> Bapak seram gila kalau ada muka doktor macam ni. In a lot pain, huh? No, no, it's not that doctor. But well, it can wait. Unless it's urgent. It's not. Very well then. The doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden watch and fine looking leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all, more like a businessman. The doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse checking on the patients, spending no more than a minute with each. He comes to my bed last. Okay, Mr. Friday. Jack Friday number dia. Okay, Mr. Friday. What was it again? Let's see here. He lifts through some papers and clicks his tongue. Ah, you fell. Yeah. How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh, these substances we found in your blood work explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Getting high and... Doctor, you can't say that. Oh, sue me. 
And you, don't do it again. Next time, I won't patch you up, you hear? I'll try not to. He's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've got more important things on my mind. Doctor, how long? So, doctor ni ingatkan lelaki ni isap dadah eh. Sebab dalam darah dia tu, mungkin ada 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 kesan dadah positif dadah ke. Jadi, dia ingat lelaki ni ambil dadah. Doctor, how long until I can start walking? At least with crutches. I don't know. What? What? You you are a doctor, aren't you? you my doctor? The very same. Who do you think operated on you? I look down at my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure of what I'll see when the cast comes off. Can't you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? I'd rather not. The nurse standing next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of factors are at play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex pattern. Plenty of factors can change how quickly you heal a whole lot. So who can really say? Factors like what? Oh, so many of them like what? Like, uh, he glanced down at his papers. Like your blood pressure, which is crap by the way. Are you stressing over something? Yes. No. Project cakap no. No doctor, I'm not, I'm fine. He frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Keep your feet back and relax. What are you in such a hurry for anyway? You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything. Huh? How do you know that? Oh, well, nurse, uh, he snaps his finger trying to remember. Anna? Nurse Anna, that's the one. She told me. And yes, I know about you too. No need to act surprised. You are a lucky guy, you know that? Yeah. When I first found out, I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all that stuff, you know, but she really wanted to, so I, so I thought, whatever. And she's taking it well, so it's okay, I guess. The doctor stares off into space, then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you want to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you. There's no privacy here at all. Oh no, I didn't. Don't be ashamed now. I get what it's like. He drops the smile. But you can't be thinking of those sorts of things. You've got to rest properly. Alright? Alright. He leaves with a thumbs up. Dia ingat kita bercinta dengan Anna eh. Padahal tak pun. Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling and another one is grumbling with what must be jealousy. Idiots. <laughs> My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it. I've moved it three times now. Okay, I've got to write in it. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if that someone is a piece of paper. But not now. She's still out there somewhere. So Anna ni agak menakutkan. Jack ni dia agak uh, agak takut sikit dengan Anna. Takut banyak anak pakai dia. August 6, damn it, god damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 Ah, uh, <laughs> Wait and wait and wait. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. For how long? It's two hours after I've written down those words. I'm looking at a little notebook that is my that is my journal. I've got it in my hands. I am amazingly lucky to have it. Someone had left both the notebook and a pen in the nightstand next to my bed. I checked the nightstand's drawer on a whim and there they were. Now they are the only things keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. I'm counting the pages I've got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Then she, then she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Hmm, segam guys. Good evening, boys. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. I murmur back a hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook, clutching it actually. I can feel beads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hand must be hiding it from view. 
or are they? If she's noticed Anna pays it no mind, she wheels in the cart with our medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under my blanket, smooth it over and lie quietly. How are you holding up, sweetie? I nearly jumped at Anna's whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine, I'm fine, thanks. Hmm. Jack, don't you remember what I told you? It's no good putting up a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? What's this about? Does she know? I know about everything, you see? She leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Ooh. I I yeah? Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know? Both. The drama base guys. And he told me uh and he told me all about how much trouble you're having down there. As soon as I realized what she means, my tense body loosened up. Oh ah yeah that. It's a uh, a bit of a problem I guess. So I cross the masuknya kan? Down there, down there. Oh sweetie. Well, I'm sorry your health has priority over But don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere She puts her hand on my blanket, starts smoothing it out absent-mindedly It makes me happy though to see you like this again After how you acted before your accident, I thought Never mind Without warning, she leans in even closer I feel her hot breath on my cheek but since you are so eager, Jack, I promise that after you are released, I'll give you the time of your life. I'll make you finally forget all about Grace. Oh, they dah start. They dah start cakap pasal Grace. Her words are like a slap in my face. I can only stare back. Hmm, so you still care about her? I don't like that. Someone like you and someone like her, you never should have been together in the first place. Please think only of me. After all, we were made for each other. If I do, if I promise, I'll be with you always. Will you leave Grace out of this? No, that's not good. I can't do that. Oh, mata dia, mata dia seram. Just you're asking that, it shows you're still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me, and what, and what I will do to you. So leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? Ah, at least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy even though you're still so confused. Anna, please. I'm close to crying. I want to tear my hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? I do. Of course I do. It's something that she's been telling me to do for ages, since before I got here. She's like a broken record. You want me to remember everything? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again, forever. So promise you'll remember. I promise I'll try. No. Kalau aku dah partner macam ni, bapak seram weh That's not good enough You promised you'd try before and look where that got us Tell me you'll do it I... I promise I'll record it all Good We'll work on that When you get out of here, but If your memory comes back to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else Okay? Bye bye for now Eh. Agak muka je cantik Hati Nauzubillah She wheels out the card Glancing back One last time with the early look of hers I can't tell her I already remember See Lelaki ni dah ingat Sebenarnya tapi dia diam je I've known since before my injury I've known that When we were both children She No I can't tell her If I do that She wins and Grace dies Alright, and maybe I die too.
I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusion. Chapter 2. Alright, chapter 2 already. So, untuk chapter 2, tunggu next video aku. Aku akan upload. So, make sure korang like, share and subscribe video ni. Make it work guys. Support local and bye-bye.